All right, members, we got a gloomy day here at Country Club of Leeward, but looking for a great weekend of weather coming up. Wanted to give you another tip here about driver. We always play in the wind in Kansas, and a lot of the times when I get out to play with you guys, I see players playing into the wind and seeing you tee the ball really low. And I want to tell you why that's wrong and why we want to get that ball teed high when we're hitting into the wind as well as downwind. Okay? What we get when we tee the ball really low, I've got two balls teed up here, and when we get when we tee the ball really low, is on these huge headed drivers that we have nowadays, the sweet spot's a little bit higher on the club face, so it's a little bit more up here in this area on the club face. We want to make sure we tee the ball high and get to able to hit that sweet spot. The other thing I see when we tee the ball low is it causes us to try to hit down on the ball and control that ball with a low shot into the wind. What that does is put more backspin on it because our angle of attack is too much down on the swing. So when we hit this ball, we put a lot of backspin on it. What's also gonna do is create a lot of side spin, okay? So what we wanna do, is we wanna make sure that we tee the ball about half the ball above the club face and half the ball on the club face. And when we swing through it, even into the wind, we want to swing up through the ball. That helps us lower the spin. And the lower the spin, the more that ball will go through the wind. So next time we're hitting it through the wind, we want to tee it high and let it fly. Remember that? Tee it high and let it fly. And hopefully we'll hit more fairways.